Smells like weed in here. Oh, that's me. I'm sorry. I don't smoke pot, but it's my new deodorant, weed stick. <laughs> Guys having a good time drinking? I love drinking, but there's some stuff I won't drink, like malt liquor. Not all black people drink malt liquor. I don't, because it's named after stuff that can kill you. Like Code 45? Mm. And I damn sure ain't gonna put no Magnum in my mouth. King Cobra? <laughs> no. Crazy Horse. Look at Christopher Reeve. Was he here? You guys are cool, man. You guys are cool. It, it's tough being, like, you guys are looking at me like now like, oh, I didn't know Isaac Hayes had jokes. <laughs> hey, it's Baron Davis, the lockout's over. <laughs> yeah, I keep laughing. <laughs> I'm like a generic black dude. This is, I'm like a living composite sketch, it's horrible. <laughs> They had me come back as the voice of Chef on South Park. <laughs> Hello, children. <laughs> it's tough being a comic sometimes because you want to, you know, you go through some stuff. People think being a comic is happy-go-lucky. You go through some stuff. Like I recently had to move back home with my mom eight years ago. But see, I'm never, I'm never home. I'm always on the road. And, you know, I was on Showtime. And, you know, I'm popular. I'm never home. But no, seriously, I'm never home. But my mom is young. She's only 58. And she's been at the same job. She just recently retired from the same job she had for 38 years. But my mom is young, 58 years old, and she likes to drink. But when she drinks, she talks smack to me. <laughs> seriously, a couple of weeks ago, I was on the road. I was in San Jose for two weeks. Oh, I came home lit. I came home one night, and she was, I was lit, and she was lit. So I walk through the door and she looks at me and she goes, you ain't funny, sucker. I go, excuse me, you heard me, you ain't funny. You know who's funnier than you? Who? Anybody other than you. She said, I know you was on Showtime. I don't get Showtime. I don't care you on Showtime. Anybody could tell a joke. I had you. Yeah, you were my first joke. Yeah, you tell the Ice House, I want to do comedy time. I got jokes about you. I got a knock-knock joke. She goes, knock-knock. I go, who's there? She goes, you, sucker. It's always you. <laughs> you know why you're knocking? No, because you don't have a key. <laughs> so I tried to avoid the subject. I get out of, got out of town and say, hey, Bruce, you know, I got a joke because you don't drive because you got to spend a license. I got another joke. I go, okay, mom, what is it? He goes, why did you cross the road? I said, I don't know. She said, you catch the bus, you see the bus stop? That's you, right? <laughs> so I was, look, I was out of town. I was like, look, mom, I was out of town for two weeks. I sold a bunch of DVDs and signed autographs. She goes, oh, my baby's signed autographs? Is that supposed to impress me? <laughs> Sign a lease, can you do that? <laughs> I'm walking away, she goes, hey, Bruce, Bruce, I got another joke, I got another <laughs> Hey, Bruce, I want you to name every room in the house. I was like, okay, mom, uh, living room? She goes, yeah. Uh, two bedrooms? She goes, yeah. Two bathrooms? She goes, yeah. And then she looks at me and goes, is there a Bruce room? <laughs> and I thought about it, I went, no. She goes, you know why? Why, because there's no room for you. Just then, Jimmy Burns, the host of the show, 
calls the house. I've known Jimmy for a long time, and my, and my mom knows Jimmy and you know, everything. He calls the house because my phone, my cell phone died. He calls the house phone, and she knows Jimmy. Hey, what's up, Jimmy? How you doing? And a lot of you guys don't know this about Jimmy. As a personal hobby, he collects comic books. Seriously, he's making a lot of money with, you know, with all the comic book movies like The Dark Knight, The Avengers, FF, all those movies coming out. So my mom knows Jimmy. She says, hey, Jimmy, what's up, Jimmy? Hey, I heard you collect comics. <laughs> yeah, Bruce is a comic. We won't pick him up. <laughs> yeah, he's the darker knight. What? Yeah, he's in mint condition. He don't work. <laughs> What's that, Jim? Jim, hold on, hold on, Jim, hold on, hold on. And she goes, Bruce, put on your raincoat. <laughs> okay, Jimmy, he's wrapped in plastic. We don't pick him up. <laughs> I try to change, you know, and I'm trying to change the subject. You know, I'm trying to avoid everything, right? So, you know, so I'm like, cool, I'll walk away. She goes, Bruce, Bruce, I can do this all night long. I don't care. You know, matter of fact, I got another knock knock joke. But this time, I want you to tell me knock knock. I was like, okay, mom, knock knock. Didn't say anything. I said, mom, knock knock, still nothing. Finally, I say, knock, knock. She goes, get the hint, sucker. <laughs> you guys are a great crowd. Thank you for supporting live comedy. I'm Bruce Dingles. Take care.